Good morning. Welcome back to BT. Uh, we have a quiet start to your morning commute uh, this morning. It's very, very quiet out there right now. Uh, some volume here and there, but it's not bad. Where we usually would see it uh, be very busy out of Durham Region on the westbound 401. You can see that it's not bad at all heading by the 412 here. Uh, westbound 401, just a little bit slow, not even really from McCowan to Ken Kennedy and the collectors. You can see that it's moving uh, pretty okay, but uh, volume through this stretch. And the southbound 404 DVP combo, now this is where it actually does get kind of slow. We're looking at delays from the 401 uh, to about south of Lawrence, but it's not too bad just yet. And the eastbound Gardner is a little bit busy from east of the Humber Bridge over to about Dufferin, so keep that in mind. Heading off our major routes, Bayview is blocked at Lauren Harris, which is south of Eastern, and that is all because of a broken water main. About to become a dad for the first time? Find out what you can look forward to in the parenting podcast, Attitude, with Vic LaRusso and Al Del Bene. Visit globalstorynetwork.com. That's a look at your drive, and I'll send Zoe to Frankie for a look at that chilly, chilly forecast. Yeah, yeah <laughs> as people are still sleeping or just waking up across the city of Toronto on a morning that they're not used to. We're not used to these temperatures. We have a current condition sitting at minus 21. Similar to Winnipeg this morning, that Arctic air, now we are into it. Today, in through the overnight, getting out of it as we work our way through tomorrow. Current wind chills sit at minus 30 at Pearson, minus 24 in Hamilton, minus 23 is your wind chill right now in uh, the area of Windsor, minus 31, Bancroft, minus 34 in Ottawa. Good news is the winds are fairly light. We're going to enjoy some sunshine, so we'll take that in. Happy Valentine's Day. You're going to want to keep and cuddle today. Temperatures right around minus 8. Overnight low tonight down to minus 17. Cold starts your Saturday, minus 1. Winds out of the southwest, 30 to 50. On Sunday, you're going to see a daytime high right around the freezing mark with the risk of flurries as well. And holiday Monday, also known as Family Day, you're going to see temperatures uh, sitting right near that freezing mark under mainly overcast skies. That's a look at your weather. Happening right now, the Up Express is suspended right now. That's because of a signal problem that's also causing delays on GO Transit. So with no service on the up, shuttle buses are operating every 15 minutes from Terminal 1 at Pearson Airport and from Union Station outside of Good Life Fitness. But those buses are not making stops at Weston Road or at the Bloor stops. Riders who would normally use those two stops are being advised to head to the TTC. Meanwhile, that problem is causing delays of up to 30 minutes on the Go Kitchener line. Crews are now working on the repair. Metrolinx just told us that it is a mechanical problem and does not appear to be related to the cold. A part is being replaced, but there's no estimated time for when the up will be restored. In other news this morning, Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders has ordered his officers to immediately stop using facial recognition technology to track down suspects. Saunders was unaware of any of his officers using this technology, but has now ordered them to stop. The software is from the company Clearview AI. It takes images from social media sites and other places and then sells access to its database to police. Uh, images from crime scenes can then be matched with the data to track down suspects. It's come under fire from social media platforms, including Facebook and Twitter, who have demanded the company stop harvesting user images. Toronto police say they've asked the Information and Privacy Commissioner and the Crown Attorney's Office to help review whether the technology is appropriate. A Canadian fashion mogul, Peter Nygaard, is facing disturbing sexual assault allegations in a new clash, a class action lawsuit that's been filed in New York. Ten women are accusing Nygaard of raping them at his Bahamas estate and operating what they call a sex trafficking ring that allegedly included drugging women. Now, the alleged assault happened between 2008 and 2015. Six of the women were 14 or 15 years old at the time. The civil suit does not include any criminal charges, but is seeking damages to be determined at trial. Nygaard has denied all allegations. Sixteen malnourished dogs from Thunder Bay are being cared for in Toronto after they were rescued from a horrific hoarding situation. The pups were among 47 dogs trapped in deplorable conditions inside of a Thunder Bay residence. The homeowner had died and the dogs were found starving with various injuries. They were removed by volunteers and turned over to other shelters. The Toronto Humane Society says that the canines will be rehabilitated and put up for adoption. But it could take months before they're ready for their forever homes because of their conditions. For updates on when they'll be available, head to citynews.ca.